Good to have you with us. I'm Joe Donlin. And I'm Erica Sargent. Right to breaking news. A security guard is dead after he got into a fight with two people in a shopping center in Chatham. CBS 2's Sabrina Franza has been on the scene. She joins us live now with more on what she's learning. Sabrina? Those who work nearby and witness this recognize the security guard. They see every single day. They tell us that he worked at this DTLR store behind me on 87th and Cottage Grove. And when they came out to see what happened, they recognized him on the ground with a gunshot wound in his head before he was taken to the hospital and pronounced dead. He clocked in. He had no idea he was going to be losing his life today. China Brown says the man who gave his life to guard this shopping center was appreciated and respected in her community. He was, you know, he would keep you protected no matter where you were. If you were in the magic nails, he would just, you know, make sure, you know, you knew he was there. She works a few doors down. When shots rang out, she and her colleagues ducked, counted eight rounds. We just heard the gunshots at the end. Like everybody was trying to get down because we didn't know where they was coming from or where they was flying from. Police tell us a 53 year old man was in an argument with two other people, a man and a woman. We don't know what that argument was about. At some point, the man took out a gun and started firing, shooting the victim three times. He was on the ground. Um, he had an open wound to his head. It was, it was kind of terrible. Shell casings littered the parking lot. Stores closed early for the day. The security officer, he, you know, he was known by many and very friendly, would say hello to us all the time before we started our shifts. And it's, it's, it's kind of sad knowing that we lost a, we lost a really good person today. Hours after this happened, police are still here on scene investigating, collecting any evidence that might lead them to those two suspects that they say drove off in a gray sedan. We're in Chatham. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. Sabrina, thank you.